Hi everybody. <clears throat> In this week's uh, discussion about the death penalty, it says that there's a chance <clears throat> that uh, if a country or a state has the death penalty, there's a chance that an innocent person will be executed. Uh, and if, if there's a chance that an innocent person will be executed, then uh, is it justified in, for a country or a state to have the death penalty? Uh, it's kind of a very simple, general, open-ended question. Uh, it's really important that this week you do some external research and also um, read the portions of the textbook about the death penalty. Uh, I don't want to just see you say, oh, yes or no, depending on your own position uh, in relation to the issue. I want you to think about it um, from the ethical perspectives that you've been examining in the course, as well as with evidence. Also, try to imagine what it would be like if you had been convicted of a crime that you didn't commit and you were sentenced to death and you were awaiting your own death um, for something that you didn't do. Now this, it's been verified that this has happened multiple times um, to people on death row. Actually in Illinois there's a moratorium on the death penalty, uh, meaning that they didn't make it illegal but they stopped using it until further notice because uh, it was found um, that I believe something like seven people on death row had been acquitted at a later date due to DNA evidence. Um, so they were going to be killed, um, but then it was discovered later that they actually didn't do the crime uh, and they were uh, released <clears throat> from that punishment. So just think about what it would be like to be in this situation. Perhaps some of you watch the TV show called The Killing. Uh, I believe it's on AMC. But in this television show, there are multiple themes, but one of the themes is about a guy awaiting his own death on death row for a crime that he didn't commit. And we see this all the time, right? We see people who've been convicted of crimes that they didn't commit, and they're let go after being in jail for six months, one year, 10 years, 20 years. So just think about what it would be like to actually be in that situation. Um, try to you know, empathetically place yourself in that position and analyze how you would feel if you were in that position. And the question is, um, are the safeguards that come about from the death penalty worth the fact that perhaps uh, innocent people have and will continue to be killed uh, utilizing this method? So really try to think about it and also really do some research on the actual numbers of people who have uh, been released from death sentences or just from you know, long light, um, sentences in prison due to DNA evidence, I think you'll find that um, there is a certain injustice in the justice system. Uh, another interesting thing to note is that the death penalty is way more often percentage-wise given to non-white offenders uh, than it is to white offenders. Uh, and in addition, there's some other research that seems to indicate that when um, the person who was murdered is white, the tendency to give the death penalty to someone is greater than if somebody of an ethnic minority were to be murdered. So there are a lot of different factors that come into play in relation to this issue, and I hope that you take the time to do some research and really formulate a, a well-founded position on this issue. So good luck.